Yo, what's going on and welcome back to some Monster Hunter Stories 2. Last time we fought the giant spider boss. Now we gotta go back to the chief. Um, because we, we like got them the parts to rebuild their windmills or something. Uh, what, what else were we doing? Ooh, uh, Anna was looking for that one guy who could hopefully help us. Chief, caught out to take a look around the village, I suppose. Oh, Jesus. Now we gotta go find him? Oh, well, that was hard. Welcome back. We got the windmill parts. You did. Wonderful. I expected no less of legendary heroes. Sorry to saddle you with back-to-back -back requests, but could you also help out our merchant? What's the problem? I've got so few products to sell, it's barely worth opening my store nowadays. The cave our shipping route passes through has had a collapse, and the popo... <laughs> what is the popo? Can't get through with cargo. What does that mean? Is that a, a monster? At this rate, our town's historic shop will have to close. Please clear out the Vina Mine Cave. Whoa. Okay, we defeated the creepy inhabitant of the forest, Nursilla. Returning to the village, flight of the merchant who faces going out of business. You must help clear the cave of rocks. Wait, they expect us to clear the rocks? Do we need a rock smasher? We have our rock smasher. We should be good. Let us visit the quest board. We got some stuff to turn in. It's not giving us a whole lot of XP right now. I kind of wonder what XP is based on. Because it seems like anyone who's not at my level gets bonus XP. And if that is the case, then there might be something to grinding a little bit and getting your level up. Assuming that you can do that. Just keep turning this in, huh? Okay, that was the last time we could turn it in. We also got engine at the level 20. Whoops. Not what I meant to do. Alrighty. Let's offer up a thing. Still not exactly sure how we level this up. It said we just offer stuff to it, but... It just says it's level 1, and it doesn't tell me anything about how close we are to getting to level 2. Get one of these. Can we skip this? Crescent moon. Hmm. What are we offering? Yeah, the one that gives you more points. That seems pretty good. Oh, hey. You use 5 Charm, boosting the Prayer Pot to level 2. Its effects will be much more powerful. Define much more. Like... Oh, it gives 2 more points. Oh man. That is much more powerful, yep. We went from 71 to 73. That is just... Immaculate. I feel like whoever wrote that update message uh, is a jerk. Because it does not, it is not much more effective. Alright, so we're going to this mine. I don't know why they want me to clear out the mine. That seems like a work for a completely different occupation. Uh, we'll do it, I guess. We don't really have a choice. Got all these random dens. I don't think we care about random dens anymore. Oh, weren't we gonna upgrade our armor? Shoot, we forgot. 
Maybe I'll remember next time. Probably not, though. Ooh, a chest. Are we even going the right way? Let's check what, what we're doing. There was an Everden over here. I don't think we can get to it, though, because it might be a vine climber, and I we did not bring the guy who climbs vines. This other one also looks like a vine climber. There is one over there that I think is like one of those burrow. Burrow ones, but I don't rem I don't remember if we have the burrow guy with us. Please no. Can you leave me alone. Jeez. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we have a burrow guy with us. We're just gonna go to the objective. Okay. Apparently couldn't pick that one up. So are we actually clearing it out? I mean, there, I'm sure there's gonna be like a monster. Oh, come on, we're even wearing the cold it's resist so armor. Cold. Uh, my whiskers are frozen stiff. How come you don't feel the chill? I have frostfang, so I'm all right. What does that have to do with anything? He keeps you warm. By the way, Frostfang is a pretty cool name. When did you come up with it? When I met him for the second time. Uh, what did you call him before then? Fuzzfangs. <laughs> Say, he was so cute and fluffy. It was the first thing that came to my mind. And you bonded with Fuzzfang. I mean, Frostfang when you met again. That's right. It was a very cold day, like today. More story time? I'm freezing. Oh no. There's a monster here. Huh? A Barrios? Why did you... Hold on. Is that you, Fuzzbangs? I'm so happy to see you again. But you're all grown up. Fuzzbangs doesn't suit you anymore. Why don't I call you Frostfang? Frostfang, would you like to come with me? That's when we bonded. That's so touching! I almost teared up! Frosty places always remind me of that day. Anyway, let's keep going. Alrighty. Okay, what are we doing? I kind of hate that we can't really use the map right as we enter an area. Kind of just going in blind always. Grab that sushi fish, apparently. Where are these rocks we're supposed to be breaking? Also, what kind of merchant's going through this cave? <laughs> Doesn't seem like the kind of cave you want to travel through. Alright. Doesn't seem to be anything here, so I guess we just keep going this way. Do we fight stuff? Yeah, let's fight some stuff. These guys use blue attacks, right? I keep thinking that Raffian is technical. Oh, I forgot to use a uh, mist. That's bad. I think maybe I should just use mist now then. Does it only work on things in combat? I 
If I have to use another one afterwards because it only worked on the guy who is currently in combat, I'm gonna be a little mad. Uh, everyone is attacking me. And Basarios is using... Not the right move. Not like it matters, I guess. This will probably kill the low health guy at least. That's it. And it burned everyone else. Why is he using a power attack? What does this guy switch to? I suppose it's not going to matter because I'm just going to ride and murder him with a kinship skill. But I don't remember what he switches to. He switches to technical. Okay, okay. Keep it up. We'll handle it together. Hopefully that guy gets killed. Thank you. Solid battle. Working together makes you stronger. So let's check and make sure everything is hot misted up. That sounds pretty weird. They are. Okay, that's good. So we're just passing on through this area. I don't really know. There's a chest down here. Also a chest right here. This one's closer, so let's go grab this one first. And maybe it'll reveal what path we're supposed to be going. More enemies. I guess we'll just beat them up real fast. Don't have. To. Actually, Anjanath's gonna get hit, but it's whatever. He'll be fine. We're just gonna try and build up our kinship bar. So we can ride again. It seems like you don't really need double attacks to build up your kinship. It'll build it faster, but we can decently build it just by winning head to head. Granted, Anjanath is losing his head to head, but he did kill that man while losing the head to head. I don't think she needed to hit me, but we'll handle it together. Alright, so now we'll just ride to heal up the full. I guess maybe because it was fire. Isn't Basario's fire too, though? You're doing well. Believe in yourself. I don't know if Anjanath's is AoE, though, like Basario's. Also, Basario's probably just has less attack. I would guess that Anjanath would be more of an attacker. <laughs> I 
Okay, so this is a dead end with a chest. Mm, not grabbing that ore over there. Maybe I should. Mm, I don't think it'll be necessary though. Okay. What do we got here? Got some little Xamtrioses. We just got uh like a a necklace. I don't really want to fight these guys. But yeah, we just got a piece of equipment from that rock. I want to check it out real quick. What was it? Not on this page. This. Noticeably increases damage done to enemies. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Increases kinship skill power. Spend more kinship charge to unleash skills of full power. Increases skill power. Normal attacks inflict stun. Increases chance of stun somewhat. Seems pretty sweet. What else do we have? Good amount of health. We were using that one before. I think we used this one. Oh no, we didn't use this one before. What is soul kinship? Kinship gauge fills up faster. Boosts all elemental defense somewhat. Unscathed nesting. Increases speed when at full HP. Also boosts attack and defense somewhat. Boosts retreat rate. Oh, that seems actually really good if you're trying to hunt specific monsters. Honestly, uh, I think self-heal is just too valuable at the moment. But some of those are really useful. I didn't even realize that we had a lot of those. This is the right way. Oh, no, it's not. We need to go this way first to get that chest. What's going on here? Do we just fight this guy? Okay, I don't remember what this guy does either. Am I just gonna eat this attack? I guess so. Yeah, he's technical. Get a nice fire damage up. Oh, maybe that's why... Anjanath's and chip skill did so much damage because the fire damage up. charge with there. We did get a crit, which is pretty nice. Stay no sure. burn, though? I don't know what he's doing. I'm just gonna charge. Cause he's almost certainly not gonna die this turn. Oh, he's using Ice Mantle. still pretty difficult takes a lot of mental energy i feel like if i was playing on like a, a controller it probably just wants you to like spin the joystick right that would be way easier <laughs> 
why are you using a speed attack? I'm just gonna hope that's right. Well, he tied at least, so that's fine. Okay, we would like another turn though. If you could not kill him just so we can heal Anjanath the full. I can't ride? Oh my goodness. Okay, but this is good. It seems like uh, Avenia is going to heal him, so... level 21 now. Roth is almost level 21 as well. Okay, what's going on over here? This is where our secret little chest was. Still haven't found any rocks that seem to be in the way. This still just seems like the kind of cave you wouldn't want to travel through. Even if you're carrying, oh, well, especially if you're carrying goods. Four paralysis knives, huh? We don't even use items around these parts, so. So now we're going down. There's another chest down there. I don't know if we can reach it though. Look like it might be on the other side of some vines or something. There's more debris. The further we go, if we follow the trail, it should lead to the monster. Good idea. Wait, there's a monster now? Since when was there a monster that we were going after? I mean... This monster hunter, like, we're always going after monsters, but, like, no one mentioned it. Is that the monster? Oh, that's vines. We can't do vines. Well, this seems like it. So this is the culprit behind the broken rocks? We've got it now. I mean, we've already fought a Baroth. Have we fought? This guy's not a Jade Baroth, though, is he? He's a different one. He's the regular Baroth. Baroth, I know this isn't your fault, but I have to protect my home. We're not done rebuilding yet. We're about to sit by and let it trouble. Or we're not about to let it sit. Uh, uh, whatever. We're gonna beat him up, is what he said. I don't know what this guy does. Uh, could be a metal overture turn. Since he's a boss, that seems like the prudent thing to do. Also, I feel like the hammer is going to be way better against this guy, but I could be wrong. I wasn't even paying attention to what kind of attack he did. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do this just in case I get a double attack. Okay, he's doing speed, so we want to throw in some technicals. He's attacking me now. So hammer, not good. That's kind of surprising, but... Let's try out the bow, then. Still did 27 to me.
Alright, he doesn't seem to have changed forms or anything. Oh, bow, also not good. Alright, I guess sword it is then. We could use some skills. I think it might be better to just charge up our kinship. So he's using mud mantle. Or Baroth, love rolling in mud. Bad news, it stinks. Good news, it makes them vulnerable to water elemental attacks. When they're not in mud, use fire element attacks. Try switching mossies to give you the upper hand. I don't have water element. You couldn't have told me that before we came here? Like, what do you want me to do now? I think any of these, these guys all do fire. Every single one of them. But if he was doing speed before... That means it either has to be power or technical. We can leave him on power, I guess. Until we figure out what he's actually doing. Okay, he is on technical. Sword not good against that part. Okay, do we just go for the ride into Kinship, probably? Nice job. I already have half of our bar back. Dude, that's nice when you can get one of those like quick time events at, after using your kinship, then you get your bar back. But otherwise, mud splash. Oh my gosh, it's so close. Stop using ice cyclone. Ice cyclone doesn't do part damage, you noob. Here comes a powerful attack. Okay, that hurt. So he's no longer covered in mud, huh? That means he's going back to speed. And he's attacking Anjanath, so... Bring out Bastarios. We were so close to breaking some parts, too, and then he switched back. That's unfortunate. He's poison? Oh, we can maybe even get another double attack? Which will get us another ride into kinship? Assuming he doesn't just die. Nope, we didn't get double attack. Apparently, whatever move Basarius used does not work for double attacks. Probably because it's an AoE. Is the kitchen gauge really not full? Wait, is it a 99 again? Oh my lordy. Maybe I'll use a skill then. Oh, he's using Mud Mantle again. 
He's gotta be close to death, right? Do his parts stay damaged? No, no they do not. Let's use some skills though. Okay, we did fully charge. Stop using Ice Cyclone. It's not helping. Oh, he's dead. Alright. You did it! Okay, apparently we fixed the problem. We never dealt with any rocks, but killing the bear off apparently fixed everything, so we're pretty much just the greatest. Now the Popo can get through the cave, and the shop can keep on running! Thanks for your help. Getting the shop back to normal will mean a lot to the owner, and it'll bring back some hustle and bustle to our village. I don't really believe you, Your but... village has come a long way since it was destroyed. It must have been really hard on you. It was. Although, Frostfang and I spent some time away from the village, too. Really? Why, if you don't mind me asking? When I came back to the village with Frostfang, after we bonded... Listen, everyone! Avinia, move away from that monster! We can't sustain any more damage to the village! He won't do any harm! How do you know it's not blighted? It's too much risk. We won't allow it. If he's not allowed in the village, then I'm leaving too. So I left my beloved village, so that I might stay together with Frostfang. I... I can't believe they didn't trust you and your monsty! The Black Blight didn't just destroy our village. It also destroyed people's trust in monsters. That's terrible! Seeing you and Ratha makes me remember how it felt to be with Frostfang back then. But no matter what happens, you must believe in your monsty. We'll prove that Rafa has nothing to do with that spooky legend. You'll see! Okay, gang. It's back to the chief. Ah, uh, my paws are sore from walking. Let me hop on, Fuzzfangs. <laughs> hey, no need to be so frosty with me. Hey, our expedition party has returned. Let's check in on them at the state. Oh yeah, I forgot about the whole expedition thing. Wait, what's the map looking like? I guess we'll explore this little circle and then we should just teleport back now that we know that we can do that. Nothing back here, huh? Alright, let's teleport. Now if only I remembered. There, we do we got it. Which which village are we at? Not this village. This village. Let's go see our expedition real quick. I totally forgot about that. Don't we do it at the stable? Expeditions are done. They all got a lot of XP. And we got lots of stuff. Alright, let's just send them back out on another one. Oh, we could just send the same group? Yeah, sure, why not? It saves me the struggle of having to figure out who to send. That guy's not really doing a whole lot of work, huh? 
Those are some creepy snowmen, too. Fussy girl. Alright, to the chief. And then that'll probably be it for this one, and we'll see what we have to do for next time. Hey, chief, we got your merchant sorted out. Splendid, I can't thank you enough, so on to the next task. Wait, what? There's more. I want you to gather materials from a Toby Kadachi found in Loloska Rocky Canyon. Static electricity from its fur could power our windmills if only we could catch the slippery critter. In that case, we'll track down the monster and collect its fur. I know what that monster is. I've seen him before. Wonderful. I truly can't thank you enough, my friends. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Mega potion recipe. All right. We seem to have completed this quest, and we have another quest hey, here. How are you? Oh, thank you. Hey there. So the other thing that we want to do before we stop is upgrade our armor if possible. I should probably be paying attention to what we're getting, because I don't know what that item is. I don't know if it was like a scroll to be able to craft stuff, or if it gave me a new skill or something. So the armor. Well. Can you upgrade our Xantrios armor? Yes, yes we can. This is great news. And it looks like we can even upgrade it again. Okay, now we got some good armor. It's got 83 defense. Oh wait, should we see if we can upgrade any weapons? Probably not, but maybe. We can upgrade the bow, actually, because we killed an Anjanat. Any more? No, we need Kadachi materials, which is what we're going to do right now. The sword can be upgraded. not upgrade it again what about the horn horn cannot be upgraded because we need a wyvern stone thank you all right i think we made some good progress there uh let's stop by here turn in any quests we have that is not worth a lot of xp but it, it gives decent enough money to probably be worth it And that's going to do it for this one. Uh, I guess we're dealing with a Toby Kadachi next, which could finally give us some lightning gear. Maybe some new types of monsters as well. Because uh, we already had a Baroth, but we do not have a Toby Kadachi. So that might be exciting. But either way, hopefully you enjoy this one, and I will see you next time.